going to do is shut down news of the world because I didn't know what the hell was going on here. Anyway, we are now in the third and final hour of the True Capitalist Radio broadcast. And, of course, I am your host, the man they call Ghost. And once again, folks, I want to thank everybody for tuning in with me. All right? Uh, give me a call right now, 646-652-4869. And before we get into anything, anything at all, I'd like for everybody to please retweet the broadcast right now. All right? Go to the social networks. Go to the forums. Go to the blogs. Spread it around like wildfire. We are live right now, ladies and gentlemen. We are live. The, the damn chat room is full. We are at capacity at 500. And if you're trying to get in and you're listening right now, I am sorry, folks. We are at complete and total capacity out here. According to the numbers, we got at least about 10,000 people listening to us across the world. I want to thank you for listening. Once again, spread it around like wildfire and let everybody know that we're in effect and in the house. Anyway, I want to talk about another subject matter, folks. I want to talk about, well, no, actually, we're still talking about the news of the world. Let's, let's take some uh, calls from Skype because I know that... Uh, my fellow UK brethren usually call in on Skype and may have, uh, you know, something to say about this, you know? So let's see if they got anything to say about it. Dunlop, you there? That's right. Ammunition has all the equipment you need. Now, shut up, all right? Poco Kitty, what's up? I hear it's amazing. Shut up, you stupid idiot. Vidmaster, what's up? Yeah, you're playing with your Peter Popper. This is why I don't take Skype calls, assholes. You see this? Skull, you there? Yeah, how's it going? What's going on? Uh, I was going to talk about the uh, the ISP banning or looking into uh, piracy, whatever. Yeah, go ahead. Do you think this has to do with Obama or anything? Like, like the president is looking into this? Well, you know, in my personal opinion, I just think that uh, it has got to be because remember, in stimulus package two. Uh, Hollywood, the movie industry, the recording industry, Captain Morgan, the pornographic industry, these people got a piece of this uh, stimulus package to check. You all remember that right after 2008, uh, Barack Obama and the liberal regime? At the time, the Democrats had taken control of the Congress and the Senate so they could have passed anything they wanted. They could have cut a check to the American people, every single one of the American people, for $100,000 and we would have saved half a trillion dollars from, uh, as opposed to spending stimulus package too. We would have saved a half a trillion if we would have just cut everybody a hundred thousand dollar check. It probably would have put a better stimulus into the economy than giving our money to all these scumbags that donated to the liberals' campaign contribution accounts. And it's sick. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, this uh, incrementalism into Internet regulation has something to do with all the stimulus money and all the taxpayer money that went to these organizations and these companies. I I wouldn't doubt it whatsoever. I mean, but uh, right now uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, news of the world. I'd like to hear somebody from the U.K.'s opinion about it, but uh, it doesn't seem like anybody from the U.K. is even uh, calling up, and if they are calling up, they're trying to do a silly-ass barrel roll or something. Uh, does it matter? Are you there? What's up? Does it matter? Yo. How's it going? What's going on, man? Yeah, chilling like an insane villain. <laughs> Ghost, yo, I've been watching your show for a while now, man. It's pretty good. I mean, I mean, I know you got a lot of these trolls, and uh, wow, they piss me off. They piss me off. What are you talking about? Do you hear me? I mean, I'm sitting here breaking down. These <laughs> idiots are pissing me off. You know what I'm saying? They they make me sick. I've always said this, and I'm going to continue saying it about these trolls. They're a bigger pain in the ass than a sticky shit. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're a dirty, sticky shit that just, you know, you, 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 you keep wiping your ass, and you can't get away from that autograph on the paper. You understand? Yeah, man, I hear you. Like, I don't know, maybe there's a way someday we'll be able to get rid of these trolls, but right now it seems like we just got to take their shit and talk to the legitimate people. Yeah, and you you know what, you're absolutely right there, doesn't matter, because let me tell you, I know, I know there are tens of thousands of true capitalists and individuals who believe in the ideology being expressed upon this broadcast. And let me tell you, I get emails from these people. I mean, I read blogs that, uh, you know, praise this particular broadcast. I, I mean, I get a lot of positive feedback, and that's what continues my quest into continuing to broadcast over the airwaves here, all right? That's what continues the fervor. That's what continues the passion of true capitalist radio.
you, the passion, the heart, right here in the gut, right here in the heart, right here in the heart. And that's what fuels me, man. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. Anyway, uh, thank you for calling, 646-652-4869. Once again, folks, we are at capacity right now. Uh, but if you continue to refresh, if you want to stay here in the chat room, or if you want to get into the chat room, well, by God, get here, www.blogtalkradio.com slash ghost. And, of course, folks, if you haven't already known, you can actually cut and paste the true capitalist player. Yeah, we actually have a cut and paste true capitalist player that you can put on your Facebook page. You can put on your forum posts. You can put on your blogs. And you can actually simulcast the live broadcast. You can simulcast the live broadcast. So if you happen to be a tech-savvy web individual, you can integrate a true capitalist player on the page of a chat room that you can integrate on your page and have your homies you know, uh, you know, come in and, and, and chat with them amongst yourselves while listening to the broadcast, all right? <laughs> I kid you not, baby. I kid you not. That's why I'm saying, spread it around like wildfire, and wherever you are listening to me throughout the Internet, come over here and join us right now, www.blogtalkradio.com slash ghost. I know that, you know, it's it's kind of hard to get into the chat room. we got a 500-people limit. I know it's hard, but keep trying, baby. We're, you know, numbers are coming up and up. I want to see you here. I want to see you chatting. You understand? I want to see some positivity in this chat room. We're getting nothing but a bunch of disgusting scoundrel scumbags that are just putting nothing but disgusting filth all over this chat room. Anyway, 646-652-4869. Since nobody cares about uh, the news of the world shutting down, let me go ahead and move on to the next subject matter. And I'm talking about China. That's right. I'm going to talk a little bit about the communist government of China because they're denying initial reports that came out that former, uh, you know, a former head of the Communist Party and former leader of the government, Zhang Zemin. Yeah, Zhang Zemin, you know, for all you folks that are into 90s politics, uh, you'll know who Zhang Zemin is. You know, he was the leader of China that was always coming into the White House. Uh, you know, getting stuff sold off by Slick Willie. Uh, but they have reported initially that he had died. Zhang Zemin had died, and now the communist government is rebutting that particular claim. They're saying that Zhang Zemin did not die, that he's alive and well. And the reason that people assume that he was dead, that he did not attend the 90-year anniversary of the Chinese communist government or the communist party. He did not attend that, and you would think that Zhang Jimin, being the fact that he once led the party, he'd be there attending the goddamn 90-year uh, uh, little shindig for the Communist Party of China, for Christ's sake. You know what I mean? And, and if you want my personal opinion, I think that he has died, but you know how communists are. They want to propagandize this. You know, they want to propagandize death so it can be politically useful to them to sustain power. That's why they don't want a, an unannounced death happen out of nowhere, because they can control the manipulation of the propaganda. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just how it is. That's how these communists are. That's why they're denying that Zhang Zemin is not dead. But I think that chopstick up the ass having four-eyed idiot is dead. You know, and I hope he is dead, and I hope he's burning in hell. I, I, <laughs> Hell yeah, he deserved to die, and I think he deserved to burn in hell. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I know, folks, every time we make a comment about the communist government of China, folks, because just because blog talk radio is allowed to be broadcasted in the, the borders of China, a stipulation of this is to allow a representative of the communist government of China to come onto the broadcast in an attempt to rebuttal anything that is critical about the communist government that is said on this broadcast, they want an opportunity to rebuttal anything. So without any further ado, folks, and I know people are like, oh, here we go. Hey, look, it's not my fault, man. I mean, i got to give the communist government of China their due here because they're allowing this broadcast to be broadcasted within their borders, man. It's, it's blog talk radio, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ. 
Anyway, without any further ado, folks, uh, we've got a representative of the Chinese government, uh, or communist government of China, excuse me. They're going to give their rebuttal to all the criticism that I have just mentioned about the communist government. So once again, folks, Mr. Fortune Cookie, are you there, sir? You see, you motherfucker out there talking all kinds of garbage about the communist government in China. You talk about Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping not dead, motherfucker. He alive and well. He a communist and he communist till the day he died. And he not dead yet, motherfucker. Zhenjamin is not dead yet. You motherfucker come in here spread slander a lie about the Zhenjamin. You spread a slander a lie about the asshole being dead. He's not dead. You know, a communist government of China will be official. And he's not dead, motherfucker. All you people out there talking garbage about the communist government of China, we stick a chopstick right up your asshole. Motherfucker. I told all you people that listen to this radio show. I told all you motherfuckers, you better watch your mouth. You better watch what you say about the communist government of China, because we're making a list, motherfucker. We're making a list. And we're putting you down on that, and there's nothing you can do about it. No, no, there's nothing you can do about it. We're going to put you down and listen when we take over your country. Because we own you, motherfucker. That's what you American motherfucker need to understand. We own you, motherfucker. We own all your debt. We own all your country. And when we come over and take over your country, we're going to put you in labor camp. We put the list down. We're going to put you in labor camp. And you want to know why we do what we do? Do you want to know why we do what we do? We do it for chairman man. What's 